That's that girl, and you come. Get in the net. <laughs> I've never, in all my years of fishing, ever had a wild pike, non trout water, that fat. What a fish. Good morning guys, Simon Gibson here, UK and Ireland Savage Gear Consultant. You're joining us today on the bank to, to well, hopefully get into some big pike in, uh, in the shallow bays. Now it's almost uh, the middle of March, the pike are going to be in, uh, in the shallow water, getting ready to spawn, if not already started. It's, it's quite dull today, so um, I'm hopeful that we will get into quite a few fish. The plan is to, to cast the likes of these goby shads and the 4D river roach and, and various other shads. Paddle tail is going to be what I'm going to be aiming with most of the day. Um, that's my favourite. You will see this quite a lot today. It's been catching a lot of fish for me and I am uh, I'm confident that this is going to work. But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get a few fish. Stay tuned. Starting off with the 20 centimeter goby shad in the spotted bullhead colour. I know from experience this particular place there's a drop off right in front of me about 4 or 5 metres out. So it's important when you come to an area like this and you know that there's a drop off close to always fish close to you first before casting halfway across the lake and if you catch a fish out there you're going to interrupt the swim. You want to try and catch as many fish as possible, go in close, get the fish, go out a bit further each time. So we'll start off, as I said, reasonably close. So I have a 3 gram uh, spike weight added to it. The, the water is still reasonably shallow in certain areas. So I don't want the bait going down too deep just yet. And that's the reason why. I'll also be able to give it a much slower presentation because the water's still reasonably cold. Water temperature checking, I think, was just above six degrees, seven degrees, maybe. Um, so yeah, just need to take things nice and slow and see if they if they want this colour. Um, I think that was three casts, maybe. Third cast, we're not blanking. Yeah, thankfully the hooks came out on the net. I'll try and get that out of the way so we don't damage the fish. It's certainly no monster. Bit of a deformity on the chin as well. But it's it's a small fish, but it's mine. Get a look at the the deformity. Doesn't seem to be bothering it, still looks reasonably healthy, still feeding, which is always a good sign. We'll get it back and see if we can get a bigger one. So I've started off with the, as I said earlier on, the the, the goby and the spotted bullhead colour. Anybody that's uh, that knows me or has been following me recently on social media will know that how much I love this lure. I have uh, I've caught so many fish on it this last few months. 
it's slowly turned into probably my favourite lure at the minute. Super, super bait. Um, and especially in clear water like this, the roll that comes off it is just absolutely amazing. Um, the flash that gives in clear water as well is just unbelievable. Run out of uh, superlatives to say about this lure, I really, really do. And uh, hopefully in the next next few hours you get to see just exactly what I'm talking about. that there's a drop off right in front of that weed bed. Usually always a fish or two that lays in there. I've also switched up onto the, the 23 centimeter goby shot, same color obviously. I'm gonna move down slightly. Um, We'll give that maybe 20 minutes there, fan cast the whole way around it. Um, one small fish, one follow and a couple of plucks, so they're, they're active, that's, that's a good sign. So we're going to give that bit of a swim a rest, move 15-20 feet down the bank and just keep doing that there then to try and cover as much water as possible. Power fishing if you want to call it that and, uh, and see if we can get a bigger one. As I said we've switched on to the, onto the bigger goby shot, onto the 23 centimeter, um, just to try and target more of the, more of the bigger fish than and avoid some of the smaller ones. So one thing that's always important to do is to recast over where you were fishing from a, from a previous swim. Um, I found that sometimes pike will be sitting in a certain position and you know you just can't activate them. Sometimes bringing the lure in across at a different angle and sometimes spark them into, into a tech. Um, something so simple like that can make the difference if you catch and not catch on a hard day and I've found that sometimes whenever I do that it, it does it does pay off so it's a small tip um, always give it a go Okay, so things have went a bit quiet. Um, we've covered pretty much this whole stretch with uh, the goby shads in both sizes, 20 and 23 centimeters. So I'm thinking about going a bit smaller, trying something slightly different. Um, potentially these, the new Craft Cannibal shads. Um, excellent little lure as well. Quite a broad, quite a broad profile to them, so they do push a bit of water. Um, and the tail bobble is just something else. So we're going to give these a go. Stick them with the natural colours as the water is quite clear. Um, I don't think bright colours is going to be uh, is going to be the, the ticket today. So we'll stick with the, the natural colours and um, and see if we can snag a few. So yeah, downsizing for a few casts. Let's see if we can if we can hook into something. We've moved around to the other side. Um, we pretty much covered that full side with uh, with that much happening. Um, two small fish. Gobies, stick them with the gobies. 23, 20 centimeter. And uh, we're gonna cover, there's a few nice shallow bays in here. Now obviously it is, uh, you know, we're in mid-March now at the minute. Fish are gonna be coming in here to start spawning soon. The plan is to try and intercept them on the way up. Um, there's a drop off, maybe five, six foot up into three foot of water. So I'm going to cover the drop off and uh, see if they can get any fish that's land in around that area.
come back over an area that I've already fished, like I said to do, and um, literally third cast. A lot of small fish so far, um, but I know there's big ones in here, so we'll stick at it. First cast with the, the line through rattle perch and um, the lure was almost as big as the fish but yeah the theme goes on small fish but we'll get it back and let's see if we can get a bigger one I've had literally two casts with that perch bait and um, you've seen the small fish and then we lost one there just on the second cast. So we're getting a lot of interest on this new bait. Uh, signs are good, so hopefully we can hopefully we can get something a bit decent. So that was a brand new bait, one fish ago. We've had one fish and three hits in the last four casts but the only thing is we're not hooking them so I'm going to have a look to see if there's something different or something similar with more hooks or just uh, just need to change it up slightly because we're missing too many fish Back to the Gobi, two travels. The better one. Slightly better fish this time. Putting a good bend in the rod. I haven't seen it yet, it just feels a bit heavier. Yeah. And a nicer one. Just need to be really careful because it's very, very weedy in front of me. There's quite a few snags, but this is a good fish. That's that girl, in you come. Gets in the net. <laughs> and uh, that's a, that's a jam. <laughs> wow. Just have a look at that. That, folks, is a, is a, is a beast. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at the gut in that. That fish has been feeding really, really well. Plan today into the shallow bays. The big yards are going to be coming in to spawn. We have caught six or seven fish that all together wouldn't be the size this thing is. Um, but what a fish. Oh, over the moon. But yeah, we're going to get that hook side, we'll get her back in the net and let her recover, and then we'll get her weighed and get some pictures. A 
105 centimeters. I've never in all my years of fishing ever had a wild pike, non trout water, that fat. That, look at it, 22.15 of pure solid Irish muscle. What a fish. What a fish on camera, on a lure, <laughs> on what was probably a slow day. Oh, I can just about hold it. Oh, what a fish. Never ever had one as fat. Love it. Twenty-two, fifteen. What a fish. Absolute submarine. Just cast back into the same spot where I had the big one. And literally a tiny guy has grabbed it. Now what he was doing in that same area as the big fish, I have no idea. Because <laughs> he had been dinner very quick. Actually, the third attempt at that fish. Third time's the charm. Third attempt at that one. He was just sitting in between two trees, right, right tight into the side. Literally three casts, three hits, and on the third time he took it. Um, slightly better fish, believe it or not, than than what we had been getting. Or the big one. And that's a wrap. <laughs> what a day, what, what, what an end of the day, more to the point. Um, the main focus today was to get into the shallow bays, hit the spawning bays before the pike start spawning. Um, I'm not going to lie, I started to panic a wee bit. We were getting plenty of fish, a lot of hits, a lot of missed hits, um, and the no, majority of the fish were that size. All of a sudden then, <laughs> as you've seen, wow, still absolutely speechless. What a fish. Um, one of my biggest ever fish on a lure especially a non-trout water pike. What a fish. Um, just speechless, absolutely speechless. Yeah, rain's just about to start. Um, you know, we're probably about an hour daylight, so a bit of a track back to the car, so we're gonna call it a day. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed today. Um, still over the moon with that fish. Really, really looking forward to seeing the, seeing the pictures of it. Um, but yeah, look, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, remember, go be shot as king. <laughs>